I've now taken all the measurements from the plan and uh, multiplied with the scale factor and placed it onto the uh, actual wings and uh, drawn dashed lines between the points so that I can lay on the tape. So let's get the tape down. So I've unraveled the tape and beginning at one point, which in this case is on the wing tip, uh, I'm going to first put a little bit of masking tape over the uh, end of the tape. This is uh, going to stop it from lifting because I do need to apply just a little tension and I need to lift the uh, end and bring it down gently so I maintain a straight line. I will then push my finger into it like you see in the video which just simply locks small points of the tape in place before running my finger down the tape. If I don't first press the tape it can tend to uh, move on you. So this is the best method that I found today. And that's about it. We just continue with uh, every uh, tape line until we've got the wing finished. I finished putting the panel line tape on so now it's time to go make some panel lines so let's go to it. Right, we're at the point now where the uh, primer has been drying for about oh, two, three days now. Uh, well, I guess the top has been drying for about three days, the bottom two days, so it's nice and hard and powdery, and that's just the way we like it. So the, the panel line tape is uh, still in position. You may be able to see that it's raised. And uh, what I'm going to do now is use uh, four. 400 grit paper and uh, I'm just going to dry sand it. I'm no longer going to do any wet sanding and uh, I'm just going to basically gently go over it to get rid of some of this overspray and this is where I built up the uh, panel lines with the primer so it's pretty heavy through here. And I think it was five coats or thereabouts. And uh, that just gives me a beautiful depth. I'll show you a little later. And then I'll show you a trick how to uh, take it up to a fairly nice sheen without any uh, more sanding. And uh, all I'm doing now is exposing the panel lines. Where you can see where it's dark here. That's where I've sanded over it. So let's carry on. So just very gently, knocking off the primer from the panel line tape which is now being exposed where it looks dark it's actually blue but it doesn't matter and uh, by doing this you're going to get a nice crisp release if i just took i could take the tape right off without sanding it but then i have the uh, issue of i could get jagged edges and also the uh, I could over sand it so I take some of the panel line off. So this is the main sanding coat prior to putting all the actual detail. You have to do the detail in several shall we call it layers because uh, one builds up on the other and if you don't do it that way then you're forever sanding, priming, and so forth. Where this way, uh, we just get it nice and smooth the first time. And then we can put panel lines, I mean, uh, we can put rivets on, panels with screws, i.e. maintenance panels that the plane has all over the place. And uh, it'll just come out real sweet. But we're going to have to mask all those, but you'll see all that uh, later as we move on. I'm just prepping the surface actually so that I'm ready to put the uh, panels on. And when I'm talking about panels, I'm talking about access panels, uh, such as these. I don't know whether you can see them, but these have uh, detail in them. They have all the uh, Phillips screws in them. And... Uh, they look really nice, but they go on sort of like this. So we're getting prepped to actually put those on. 
So I'm just finishing up. Now it's time to uh, remove the tape. So I'm just going to come up the inside the groove. I've already removed this piece. Come up inside the groove. Trying to be delicate. Just need to lift one edge. There we go. I'm just going to roll it back on itself where I marked it all. So just very gently peeling it off now. Keeping it down. Don't want to pull any of the uh, underneath primer and filler from the panel lines. All right, all the panel line tape's been taken out. Uh, this black here and there you see is just from my uh, uh, marker that I used. So now that panel line tape's out, there's just a slight little ridge we have to knock off. So we're just going to very gently take that off. And I'm not pressing at all. I'm just letting the paper do the work. Just trying to remember where you are. <laughs> so this is just getting the ridge from the paint out of the panel line. You can basically feel it. I just want to get it off without taking away too much primer otherwise your panel line starts to vanish. I'm now just going to buff the surface with a white paper towel. It leaves a, a fairly decent polish, something similar to about a thousand grit dry sandpaper. And I don't get uh, all excited about these finishes. I know some guys uh, finish the plane so it looks like glass. I mean that's all well but you know what i've never seen a military plane yet what looks like that and i've flown quite a few over the years and uh, these tucanos are a fairly inexpensive military plane so uh they tend to have some rough finishes in certain parts especially the older ones anyhow that's the top almost ready. I think we'll uh, maybe just go over the top with some uh, 800 grit dry paper and uh, repolish it with the paper towels. Anyhow, let's uh, carry on. Right now we're at the stage where we're just going to check for uh, issues with uh, any of the work we've done so far. So the panel lines are all, all done, complete. Uh, it's now time to just get ready to uh, finish the surface, which will be 800 grit, followed by paper towels, like I said. And then we'll uh, start applying all the scale details, such as the access panels, which are highly detailed and will really make this wing look kind of cool. Uh, there's a lot of dust on it right now, so it's not the most perfect... Uh, photography going on <laughs> or movie making whichever but I'm using my light to just uh, reflect the surface to see if there's any uh, you know super gouges or anything like that that I've missed or you know panel line tape still stuck in there and so forth so uh, next we'll be uh, putting all the super scale detail on that should be quite interesting 